in the middle and the door on each side. So three soldiers stayed in uh, one unit and then they became homes and they ended up being called the elephant homes of Soweto because the, uh, the roof is round like the back of an elephant. It was just a time that, um, a style that they built in that time. I love this. Yeah, but I do, I do, I do, I love this. Look at this. Look at the red light. <laughs> for the soccer, the World Cup Soccer 2010. Soweto was really involved. It was a very, very good time for us in uh, South Africa with the World Cup Soccer in 2010. A very, very good time. This is still all Soweto around you. Orlando and Orlando West is on our left hand side. That is where Nelson Mandela stayed. Walter Sisulu had a place out there. The Archbishop Desmond Tutu. His house is still there, although he's retired now. And he's staying down on the uh, Garden Route in a, a retirement village. In a little town called Hermanus. That's where the whales are, down in Armanus. The hostels, once again, the hostels that time for the mining. The enticement by the British, when they, uh, after the war, it ended in 1902, 1904, they built parts of Soweto already. They enticed our black South Africans, come, come from the rural villages, come and live in the southwestern township, in solid homes with a water tap by the fruit tree in the front. That was the big attraction for a person to open a tap and fresh water to come out. It was even bigger than television that time. And uh, a bucket system toilet in the back. And we will have the schools and clinics for your children and your, uh, your wives. And we will train the men to work the mines. Thousands of Zulu and Sutu laid down their shields and spears and took up the spade and the axe and came and worked on the gold mines of Igoli, as the black people then called it, the place of gold. And then I got the name Gauteng Province. It's a Sutu word, meaning the same. On your right, if you look, you'll see a uh, informal settlement as well. And then we're going to pretty soon see the uh, we'll put on the house of Winifred Marikizela Mandela. And this is the house that she passed away from when they moved back, when, they, uh, when Nelson came out of prison in... Uh, uh, 1990 am I right yes and uh, they moved into the little matchbox home first for 11 days and then they moved to this house over here and uh, we can see the trees and the buildings in between the darker brown just in front of that little mountain that is the house where the Mandela family stayed and then Nelson got divorced from her and he moved to Houghton and when he stayed in that house over there and it was from there that she passed away last year We're going to go into Vilakazi Street. Vilakazi is the most prominent street in the world in the sense of two Nobel Peace Prize winners stayed in the same street. Archbishop Desmond Tutu and uh, the uh, President Nelson Mandela. Now once again we're going to park and we're going to get out. Don't do any shopping now. We're going to take a walk straight up to that house. It's quite a number of your people to get through and we need to get you through quite quickly so that we can get to the Hector Peterson Museum so that you can have time to go through that museum. It takes a little bit of time.
to go through the Museum of the Children. Vilakazi Street, you can see the street signs of the taxis. Look at that on your right. It spells Vilakazi. Nelson Mandela is here on the right. So once we travel throwing throw travel throwings of the developed people. Okay, all of you follow me this way. Thank you. 
by the visitors who used to visit the family. So they used to write their messages on the currencies and put them inside that bowl. Then the middle room that we're seeing here, it was divided into three. It had the shower room, the kitchen, and the living room. So behind this door, there's a small room. That was the shower room, but it didn't have any shower or toilet. It was just an open spaced room with nothing because they didn't have the running water towards the house. They had to use the bathroom.